I swear to God, if it gives me Hufflepuff, bro, better not. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. No! The time has come. The Hogwarts Legacy Platinum Trophy is a rare achievement that only a few Harry Potter nerds on this planet have accomplished. 7,660 to be exact. And in today's video, we're gonna make it 7,661. Like and subscribe or this happens. <laughs> Step one in getting this platinum is to beat the main story and all of the side quests. Now, before we get into this, I have something I need to say. In this world, there are three types of people that I consider to be the worst types of people on the planet. Number one, people that do CrossFit. You know they do CrossFit because they never stop talking about doing CrossFit. Number two, people that drink black coffee. You're not better than me because you choose hot bean water over cinnamon dolce goodness, bro. And three, people that spoil new games and movies. And since this game is relatively new we're gonna keep the main story mostly spoiler free because I'm a good person first things first we have to make our character this is definitely me right here that screams boy all right oh yeah he's beautiful oh yes sir I don't know I feel like that's more me but this is what I want to be oh no that's not me curly headed fuck. yep 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 I'm going with it scars boy what you done got into I don't know bro I'm pretty white I think I need to go as white as I can go I'm straight from the mountains of caucus name let's do Rob girthy Oh. Taking place decades before our favorite wizard is even born, our newly created character is starting at Hogwarts as a fifth year, which is pretty much unheard of. Things start off pretty hot when we were being escorted to Hogwarts by our friends Professor Fig and George Osric. George is in possession of a mysterious artifact that contained a port key inside. And then chaos broke loose. Oh my god! It's House of the Dragon. Nah, that was lit. After escaping through the port key and finding out our main character has a strange connection to some ancient form of magic, my inner Harry Potter nerd screamed as we found ourselves in Gringotts. Oh, it's Gringotts. That's so cool. It's here we meet the big bad guy, Ranrock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't take him seriously. He's so cute. Just an angry little elf. After escaping Hasbulo, we finally arrive at Hogwarts. Although we're a little late, we still get to participate in the sorting ceremony, which led us to our first trophy. I'm going Gryffindor, bro. I, I'm, I'm basic. I'm a basic white girl. I like pumpkin spice and Uggs and stuff. And there is our first trophy, the sort who makes an entrance. And now we are officially a Hogwarts student. So it's time to do what students do. Learn to do spells and pet cats. Who's a good kitty? Hey yo, what the fuck? And now it's time to attend our first class, which was for defense against the dark arts. I'm, you about to get this work, cuz. What you mean? What you mean? He's a dude, Sebastian Swallow. <laughs> hey, bro. You just got that John Jones, cuz. Hey, first class student. We are then sent to Hogsmeade to get some supplies we need for our studies by Professor Weasley. Her fine ass. Hogsmeade was everything I dreamt it would be. Oh my god, it's Hogsmeade? Y'all don't understand, bro. I'm such a Harry Potter nerd. Oh my god, dude. I'm, I'm nerd. I'm. Here we get our wand, some potion ingredients, and some other wizard stuff that they probably sell at Universal Studios. Right when we are about to enjoy a nice butterbeer, the unthinkable happens. Nice. Ooh. Come get this work, huh? Oh, so that's how you dodge. Okay. What's an ancient magic throw? Oh, that's cool. You throw stuff at him. This combat's freaking sick, though. I love this. That, okay, Reparo's not gonna help you here, buddy. Come on, Girthy. What? Oh, no. Kama Kama hard his at. Bro. And we got Troll with the punches. When we get back to Hogwarts, we experience broom flight for the first time. At this point, I'm completely lost in this game. Bro, just, just look at this. It's insane, man. You're telling me this isn't game of the year? There's no way this isn't game of the year, man. It, there's no way. I'm also starting to really feel myself with the combat and I learned to use ancient magic for the first time. A keen sense of spell. 
Okay. As we carry on through our Hogwarts journey, I discovered that you can actually get different talents and abilities by spending talent points. And before my very eyes, I saw what I've been looking for since I started playing this game nearly eight hours earlier. Is this Avada Kedavra? Oh! All right, I gotta level this up. Hey, I got a talent for spending. Oh, spend five talent points. Okay, I wasn't even trying to get that, but... I'm with it. As the story progresses, we slowly learn more about this ancient magic in a goblin rebellion led by Hasbulla. We find a book with a map inside that leads us to this chamber beneath Hogwarts. Here we find four portraits of these people called the Keepers. Because I'm a basic white girl and I chose Gryffindor, I unlocked this trophy. Hey, the Gryffindor in the graveyard. I'm eventually going to have to find this map chamber as a member of each house, but we'll get to that later. These keepers have the same ability to use ancient magic that we do and will help us gradually learn more about how to use it, but only if we complete four trials. One trial for Rackham, one for Charles Rookwood, one for Fitzgerald, and lastly, one for San Bacar. Every time you complete a Keeper Trial, you get to view a pensive memory, which will reveal more information about the mystery of ancient magic and what little Hasbulla plans to do with it. After completing all four trials, I unlock the trophy. Hey, the one who mastered memories. View all pensive memories. So let's go. And then after that, I had to do the cliche, typical final boss fight. And in the process, a beloved character dies and added a lot of emotional weight to the story. We're not going to talk about that, though. Spoiler free, remember? Anyways, here's the last story trophy. The Hero of Hogwarts. And that's the last story trophy, I believe. Now that we're done with the main story, we move on to step two, side quest. Before diving into side quest, I went ahead and unlocked all the flu flames across the map. Flu flames are the fast travel points throughout Hogwarts Legacy. And since we are going to be moving around the map a lot, I want to be as efficient as possible. All right, this should be the last flu flame. Flew around the world. There it is. All right, so now we can actually do the side quest. Let's start with a room of requirement. If you love Harry Potter as much as I do, you probably got pretty excited for this one. You're able to decorate the room of requirement as you see fit throughout Hogwarts Legacy. And one of the first things I did was conjure up an enchanted loon station so I could upgrade some of my gear, leading to this trophy here. Ooh, bars. Hey, loom for improvement. Probably just upgrading a piece of gear. Yeah, upgrade a piece of gear. Also in the room of requirement, we have our friend Deke. You are not him. You are not him. You are not him. Deke shows us how to rescue different types of beasts from enemies called poachers that capture and cause physical harm to the creatures. I grew up on Steve Irwin, so we're not going to let that slide. Deke points us in the direction of a phoenix that needs rescuing off Poidseer Coast, which led to this trophy. Coasting along? Visit Poidsare Coast. All right. There are so many trophies in this game that I'm just like not even expecting. Glad I was recording. After hitting a few poachers with some dark magic gratata, we finally reached the Phoenix. Get out the bag. Get out the bag. Suck him. Suck him. What? Let's get you back to the room. Rising from the ashes, rescue the Phoenix. Moist. Now, we aren't entirely done saving exotic beasts from poachers yet. This is Poppy. She's pretty much the greater Thumberg of Hogwarts. How dare you? We learn of some dragons being tortured by poachers, and all I had to do for this trophy was rescue them. Incendio. I've seen House of the Dragon, bro. I don't trust them. Dracarys. Be careful, won't you? Hey, the Defender of Dragons. I didn't even know that I was going to get that one. After rescuing Daenerys Targaryen's Buick, Poppy needs our help rescuing these creatures called Snidgets from the Poachers. With the help of the Centaurs, Sheer Will, and a lot of forbidden magic I just can't stop using, we defeated the Poachers and rescued the Snidgets. By the way, if Centaurs were real, do you think their meat missiles would be right here or right here? Let me know in the comments. Peace, friends. Complete Poppy Sweeting's relationship line. We are full steam ahead, ladies and gentlemen. For the next set of side quests, we have to complete Natsai Onai's relationship line. Basically, the deal with Natty is she is trying to avenge the death of her father by defeating this guy named Theopolis Harlow. I don't know how you expect anybody to be intimidated by you with the name Theopolis, but... After grinding side quests after side quest in Natty's storyline, we finally got to the Theopolis boss fight, and we made light work of him. Come here, boy. Oh, he's too easy. Too easy. Man thinks he's a Peaky Blonder. Come here. Come here. 
That's always my favorite. It's not even a competition. Come here. It's over. Oh, you little rat. Over. GG's. Get down. <laughs> the Avenging Gazelle. Complete Natsai Onai's relationship line. Gang, gang. Up next, we have Sebastian Salo's relationship line. You know, that kid that I absolutely clapped at the beginning of the game. I'll make this short and sweet. Basically, this kid is insane. His sister is cursed and he's trying to use dark magic to cure her. Their uncle won't allow it. After trying to keep this kid from turning into Voldemort for what felt like 30 side quests, he did the unthinkable. He cannot be healed, Sebastian. You must stop. I won't let her suffer. Oh! <gasps> No way. You're given the choice to snitch on him like 6 9 and get him locked in Azkaban or to side with him. And I did what was best for Hogwarts. I'm turning him in. I realize that, but it's the right thing to do. He killed his uncle. This kid is an absolute psychopath, guys. What am I supposed to do? A sallow grave. Another type of side quest you have are assignments. For assignments, you basically have to do a couple of challenges for each teacher, and when you complete it, you unlock a new spell. Pretty simple stuff. After completing all the assignments, I unlocked all spells, which gave me a trophy. The spell master, learn all spells, let's go. There were a lot of side quests in Hogwarts Legacy, and some were simple and easy, like this one where all I had to do was follow some butterflies to a treasure chest. Follow the butterflies. Follow butterflies to a treasure. But others were not so simple. This is Mr. Moon. He's the caretaker of Hogwarts. He sucks. But he's nowhere close to as unbearable as this guy. That guy is the worst. Basically, Mr. Moon wants our help finding these things called demiguy statues. There are 33 of these bad boys, but what sucks is that there's really no way to track your progress with them. Not gonna lie, I had to hit up good old Google for this one and go through each statue one by one because I had 32 of the 33 and was worried the game glitched on me all right this should be the last one i have been like spending 45 minutes looking for this thing man just doesn't work is this it oh my god it's it oh my god it's it thank god hold on it's gotta be nighttime stupid should be the trophy here Oh my god, thank god. Dude, I was so scared it was glitched out, I'm not gonna lie. And next, we have broom races. Meet Amelda. She is my 13th reason. For this trophy, we have to beat Amelda's time in all broom races. There's only like three or four, but I'm not gonna lie. The last one gave me a little bit of trouble. These make me so mad because they like changed the flying. It's like not the same mechanics as like it normally is. Ooh. No. I don't think I'm gonna get it. There's no way I'm, I didn't miss that. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna get this. It's gonna be really close, actually. I'm a bot. I, dude, shut up, Isaiah. I'm gonna ban you. Uh, dude, it's gonna be so close. Oh my God, it's gonna be so close. Oh my God, it's gonna be so close. Oh my God, it's gonna be so close. No! We're gonna get it this time, 100%. We're prepared now. Are you sure about that? No, I think I'm good. I made it, we're chilling. Oh wait, no, it was actually really close. I didn't get it. No, I don't wanna skip it. This is the one. We're gonna get it this time. This is it. This is the one. Guys, I gotta lock in. All right, all right, all right. I cannot miss one. I cannot miss one. Oh yeah, this is easy money here. We win these. Easy money. Easy money. Imagine I miss one. Easy. GG's. Oh. <laughs> Only took three tries. Hear me out, what if Hogwarts, dude, Hogwarts Legacy BR? It'd actually be pretty lit. Flight the good fight. We got a trophy. Beat Imelda's time in all broom races. Okay. That was the first trophy we've unlocked all stream. After completing every other side quest in the game, there are 58 of them, by the way, I finally got to the last one I needed for arguably the most time consuming trophy in the game. All right. After I grab this treasure, that should pop the trophy. And there it is. The good Samaritan complete all side quests glad that one's over and now that brings us to step three collectibles <laughs> oh don't cry are you 
every trophy hunter's worst nightmare. There are a total of 1,257 collectibles in Hogwarts Legacy, but it's not as bad as it sounds. They're all pretty easy, and it helps that these collectibles actually have a lot of heart in them. I swear to God, I'm making a universal trip when this video's done. Collectibles come in the forms of collection chests, astronomy tables, landing platforms, ancient magic hotspots, balloons, and field guide pages. I love this game, but I never want to see another field guide page ever again. More on that later. Like I said previously, collectibles in this game are mostly pretty simple, but there was one collectible that drove me a little crazy. Merlin Trials. There are 95 Merlin Trials across all the Highlands, which is the area outside of Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. At first, they were a tad bit annoying, but after clearing a couple of regions off the map, I started to realize that it's pretty much just the same six or seven challenges over and over again. Destroy pedestals, bring fireflies to a pedestal, destroy stone balls, and so on. After what felt like an eternity of Merlin trial after Merlin trial, we finally got to the last one. All right, last Merlin trial here. These haven't been too bad. They're like pretty much the same thing every single time, but there are like a hundred of them. So it, it's been pretty time consuming. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely uh, underestimated this platinum a little bit. I guess I wasn't expecting as many collectibles as there are. There's like a, over a thousand or something like that. Put them there. Okay. And these can be pretty repetitive. It's only like six different types of Merlin trials, and it's just one of the six every single time. I'm not complaining, though. I'm glad it wasn't hard. I'll take time consuming over difficult any day of the week. Alrighty. And this will be it. We should get a trophy here. Merlin's beard. Complete all Merlin trials. W. Chests are also a big part of the collectibles in this game. There are like 155 collection chests across all the maps, and a lot of them are in Cairn dungeons. You discover most of these dungeons as you play through quests in the main story, but some you discover when you're exploring. And I actually unlocked a trophy in the process of this. Oh, the Intrepid Explorer. Discover all Cairn dungeons. Okay, I was actually just going for chess, but I'll take it. Now, field guide pages. There are 186 field guide pages in Hogwarts Legacy, 55 of those in Hogsmeade. The problem with field guide pages is that there's not really a way to track your progress by individual page. You can see how many you have all together, but you can't see which ones you're missing specifically. And when I got to 54 out of 55 field guide pages in Hogsmeade, I started getting nervous. I looked everywhere for the last page. I even followed a walkthrough step by step and still couldn't find it. I was pretty much convinced that my game was glitched and the chances of getting the platinum trophy were gone forever until this happened. Okay, so I have been looking for the last field guide page in Hogsmeade for two hours. I thought my game was glitched. I thought I was going to have to just chalk the video, just move on because there's no way I was going to be able to dump another 50 hours into this game only to find out that the walkthrough that I was using was missing one. Oh my God. IGN, if you're watching this, I hate you. I am so freaking mad! Dude, there's just no way, man. Oh my God. Hogsmeade, done. After that, I just had to get all the pages in Hogwarts, as well as all the collection chests, and I was done with the collectible part of this journey. In the process of searching for the field guide pages, I discovered the highest point in Hogwarts Castle, the Headmaster's Study. I'm pretty sure there's a trophy for this. This is gonna be the Headmaster's Study. Yep, there it is. Room with a view. All right, this should be the last chest I open. Okay, uh, wow. No trophy? I think I'm missing stuff somehow. Oh God. I got all the, see, I got all the chests though. And I have all the chests in Hogsmeade. And then I have all the chests in the Highlands. See, I figured once I finished all of that, I would have all the collections done, but I don't. Oh God, help me. Whatever, bro. It, it's five o'clock in the morning. I'm going to sleep, but we'll, we'll try again tomorrow. I'm done. It turned out I still had a few more things I had to do to finish the collections, but we'll get to that in a little while. Step four, challenges. Challenges in Hogwarts Legacy are broken up into five categories. Combat, quest, exploration, field guide pages, and the room of requirement. We actually had one last quest to do that I was saving for the final trophy, but I accidentally started it while I was going for field guide pages. Oops. It was just the final cutscene to the main story. I won the House Cup for Gryffindor. I low-key hard carried this school year, not gonna lie. Gryffindor, gang gang. Yay, you guys did absolutely nothing. 
even Harry didn't have to carry this hard. Literally, it's like when you do all the work on the school project and your buddies take credit for it. Uh, that's that's a fire hazard. That was nice, though. That was nice. Good game. The Seeker of Knowledge. Win the House Cup. We completed all the exploration and field guide challenges already by finishing all the collectibles. So that just leaves us with combat and the room of requirement. Combat challenges are pretty straightforward. All you have to do is kill a certain type of enemy a certain amount of times. 240 Dark Wizards, 35 Dug Bogs, 190 Goblins, 66 and Fury, 240 Spiders, and 30 Trolls. Simple enough. But you also have dueling feats to complete. These are basically little challenges the game asks you to complete in combat. There are 109 of these, and this was definitely the longest combat challenge to complete. And then the last of the combat challenges were infamous foes. These were basically little mini bosses, and once again, I found myself stuck on the last one, unable to find it. A game glitching out on me is my biggest irrational fear as a trophy hunter, not gonna lie. But I finally found the last one hiding at the bottom of a dungeon. This should be my last one. Grodbik. And he's gone. That's all the infamous foes. Well, that was underwhelming. I earned a lot of trophies along the way when doing combat challenges. For example, completing all tiers of a challenge. Reaching a combo of 100. And using ancient magic on every enemy in the game. The easiest way to finish these combat challenges is to do battle arenas. These pretty much give you a variety of enemies to fight in five different waves. Doing this also led to a trophy for defeating enemies in all battle arenas. Victory! and rise to the challenges. And then there were a couple of combat related trophies I had to do for this platinum that were not covered by the challenges. Firstly, I needed to stun 10 different enemies using a mandrake. This one was pretty funny. There you go. There you go. <laughs> this is so dumb. All right. We only have to stun two more enemies with mandrakes. All right, that's one. The root of the problem. Okay. I thought I had two left. Next, I had to defeat 50 different enemies using Petrificus Totalis. Yes, this is the spell Hermione used on Neville in the Sorcerer's Stone. Nerd. Bro, it's like I'm playing Batman. Come here, boy. <laughs> I almost got this game platinum and I didn't even know you could do this. I didn't even know stealth was a thing. Boom. Boom. All right, we're going to fast forward when we get to 50. This is going to take a while. A few moments later. All right, I need three more. Three more stealth kills and we'll get the trophy. This is going to be one. This is going to be two. One more. Oh, this guy sees me. Bro, these guys got like crazy game awareness, man. It's it's insane. I'll be invisible. They still see me. This is it. Trophy. The ends petrify the means. Defeat a total of 50 enemies using Petrificus Totalis. That's me waving a wand. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! The next one isn't even really combat related, but it's still hilarious. I had to use Flipendo 10 times on a cow. So in simple terms, I had to go cow tipping. We gotta do it 10 times. That's three. This poor guy. Don't tell PETA. Dude, I think he's dead. Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? Right, there we go. Spilled milk. Use Flipendo 10 times to tip one cow or several. Cow tipping. <laughs> Roll tad. Now that all the combat challenges and trophies are done, we move on to the last set of challenges. The Room of Requirement. There are only three different Room of Requirement challenges. Rescue Beast, Breed Beast, and Upgrade Gear. All I had to do was breed every type of beast in the game. There are 13 different species of beasts, 12 of those being breedable. And submissive. <laughs> So after rescuing one male and one female of 12 different species, I turned on some Marvin Gaye and let him get it on. That's Marvin Gaye and get it on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would actually play the song, but I don't want to be copyrighted. All right, go here. 
The nature of the beast. Breed every type of beast. I'm moist. But we aren't done with beast quite yet. To finish the room of requirement challenges, I have to upgrade my gear 30 times. To upgrade my gear, I had to groom and feed beast. <laughs> Wish I would have known that before I sold them all. I'm selling all these bitches. After re-rescuing every type of beast in the game, I started grooming and feeding. Look how cute he is, man. Oh, no, wait, wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. In the process of doing this, I fully maxed out a piece of my gear, which led to a trophy. And I should get a trophy for this. Yes, third time's a charm. Upgrade a piece of gear three times. Many grooms and many feeds later, we finally got to 30 upgrades, which conveniently led to a trophy for reaching max level 40. Boom. A fort for achievement. That's level 40, right? Yeah, level 40. If we're reaching level 40, we should spend this last talent point right here and it should give us a trophy. Do that. Savvy Spender. Spend all talent points. We are on the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. All right, step five. For step five, we have to finish our collections. Remember how I said we were done with collectibles? Well, we are, but... Not really. Our collections are made up of all the collectibles we've acquired in the last 40 hours of playtime. Chest, field guide pages, challenges, they all added to our collection. But what I didn't know is that to complete the collections, you actually have to buy a few things from vendors. First, I had to buy the remaining conjurations from Tomes and Scrolls and Hogsmeade. But there was just one problem. Much like in real life, I'm broke. And to get money, I either had to search for more chests or go and rescue beasts and sell them, which is actually the easier way. Isn't that like basic? Basically poaching. Steve Irwin would be ashamed of me. After rescuing and selling like over a hundred different beasts, I got all the conjurations. And all that was left for the collections trophy was to buy the remaining brooms. I guess the automobile market has affected the broom market as well because Jesus Christ, 5,000 gold doubloons for a damn broom? That thing better vibrate too if you know what I'm saying. What do you mean by that? All right. This should be the last broom I have to buy right here. Let's see, time. here it is. Should pop a trophy. Please pop. Why is it not popping? Don't tell me it's glitched. No, no, quit playing with me. Why is it not popping? There's no way, right? <laughs> I know I've said about five times throughout this video that I thought my game was glitched, but this time I was almost positive that it was. I was looking on Reddit and different forums and there were countless cases where people's platinum trophies were glitched, specifically on the collector's edition trophy. But then I scrolled past this random YouTube comment saying that you actually had to buy all the plant seeds and potions, which isn't even part of the collections. So I figured it was worth a try. So after scrambling in YouTube comments and throwing Reds. I saw somewhere that said if you buy all the potions and the plant seeds, it'll pop the trophy. Please work. Oh my god. I don't know why this would work because this has nothing to do with the collections. But wow. Oh my god, it worked. Oh my god, it worked. Oh my god, dude. Why did you do that to me? Bro, like I was literally, I'm not even, I wanted to cry. I thought I was gonna have to chalk the whole video. This has been like the most stressful thing ever. And now there are only two things left to do and I'll be done with this playthrough. Grow every type of plant and brew every type of potion. So I head to the room of requirement, set up shop and get to work. We gotta, we gotta grow some stuff. Dude, Dittany, nutgrass, mandrake, Chinese chomping cabbage. Shrivel pig, fluxweed, and venomous tenacula. So while we got our plants growing, we got to brew every potion as well. Boom. Boom. Make that. All right, and this is the last one in a minute and 30 seconds. I should get the trophy. A few moments later. All right, please give it to me. Why is it not giving it to me, bro? I'm defeated. One eternity later. All right, I think I actually figured out why I wouldn't give it to me. So my Wigan Will potions were full, and I think you actually have to brew it, then pick it up for it to count. There it goes, going through the potions. Oh my God, man. Stressing me out. All right, after I pick all these up, 
I should get the trophy for growing every plant. This one. Put down roots. Let's go. Grow every type of plant. All right, and that does it for this playthrough. And what I mean by that, the last three trophies to get the platinum, we actually have to play through the first two hours of the main story as each house. So I already got it for Gryffindor because I was Gryffindor this playthrough. So now I have to do it as Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. Uh, this is going to be kind of annoying. Toast of the town. Find the map chamber as a Slytherin. Two more. The R's Apprentice. Map chamber is Hufflepuff. Let's go. One more. The platinum is ours. All right. Here we go. The last house I did was Ravenclaw. So after this cutscene, I should get the platinum. Skip, 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 skip. I don't care. I've seen it four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can it be? Yes, it can. I have accomplished the platinum. Okay. Skip, 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 skip. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. All right. Here we go. Here we go. The wise owl. The wise owl. Woo! Yes! Trophy triumph! <laughs> God, man, that trophy was very, very stressful because I was scared stuff was glitching on me because it's a newer game. But it was also a lot, a lot of fun. And if you want to see me get a platinum trophy that made me want to rip my hair out, click this video here.